So, Paul. Hey. Microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, thanks for having me. Tell it's us a bit nice. about yourself. So yeah, my name is Kingfast, which came from, I was born in Kingston, Jamaica. I grew up in Belfast. And um, yeah, I make sort of R&B, pop music, and yeah, that's really the gist. Who are some of your inspirations? Um, so growing up, I was listening to really quite you know cheesy stuff. Uh, Ed Sheeran, um, Bruno Mars. So yeah. I like to do stuff like that. And Bastille as well. Yeah. Um, and a lot of rap too, um, which I think sort of makes sense with my sound, yeah. I think you're style of performing is so niche and unique oh, especially you. when you do like see setups with the microphones and you like flip all your different instruments and stuff <laughs> where did you sort of get the inspiration for that oh that's yeah massively Ed Sheeran yeah. <laughs> yeah when I saw him doing the loop thing I, I like um yeah but I even though that's that. like I know Ed Sheeran does that but the mm. sound that you produce is completely mm-hmm. different to what Ed Sheeran sounds like. It's, yeah. It's more of a, like a R&B sort of hip hop kind of vibe. That's the, that's the aim, yeah. yeah it, I guess the good thing with Loop and like you, everyone, everyone that does it does it totally differently. Completely. So it's still fun to watch, yeah. yeah. And did it take you long to sort of like get the hang of all those different pedals and? Um, Probably a couple of months before yeah. I was like at least sort of Sound the Loop made sense. Sort of thing, yeah. yeah, yeah, but um, yeah. Once you get used to it, it's like really fun to do. Yeah. Yeah. And like, was the first time that you ever took that life, I'm sure you'd been practicing loads, like mm-hmm. in the bedroom mm-hmm. and in your house and stuff, was it like a big step? Okay, like, I'm gonna try something new here yeah. instead of just the guitar, the vocals, I'm gonna give it my all. Was it like a big sort of yeah. step for you? Yeah, it was pretty scary. <laughs> it, it's, it's different. Yeah, because yeah. you know? once you mess it up and it's like, it's just repeating in front of everybody, it's horrendous. <laughs> you have to sort of be on the ball with it, like, yeah. 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 But yeah, got there in the end. And then, Obviously, you're you're from Kingston, Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Grew up in Belfast. Yes. When did you come over to Liverpool? Uh, that was um, twenty twelve. Came over for uni. Okay. And just yeah, ended up staying because the. And we now got rid of you. Exactly. <laughs> City's amazing. So. I know we're adopted Scousers now. Uh, I think it's it's once it's passed about seven eight years, you're like yeah. I think so. This yeah, is yeah. my home now. I can't get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> and do you like Liverpool? Is it like your city? Yeah, I think it's my city. Yeah. For I sure, love I home. think. I was surprised when I came over. Obviously, I knew about the Beatles and the history of the city and stuff. It was so musical, but mm. I didn't realize it was like to this extent. Oh, fair. Yeah. You know yeah, 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 yeah. Hope by summer, I need a vacay. A young millennial begging for a payday. I go cheaper, make a loof, not beefer. To anywhere that sells reefer, I'll pay with positive thoughts that I put in the ether. Gonna let loose substance abuse, get sick off the street food. So cut that UV, the blubber on me could be beauty. I here. I'm on more vacays than my salary allows. Should be a stay K, or am I better in the highs? But I so just you, you're full time with the music? Yeah, full time. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing like sort of. Uh, pubs and stuff uh, to make the money but I'm still writing a lot of stuff and have you got reason. like any residencies here or anything you want to sort of plug to the mm. audience of where we can find you if we want to go and see a show it's a good question <laughs> can't think of any specific residencies but um, you can catch me I'll try and keep my Instagram updated yes that's probably the best thing to say yeah. <laughs> okay go on musical well, guilty pleasures oh well actually just um, last night I went to see one of my favourite groups which is JLS so, no, how <laughs> was, was that? It was class. Yeah, yeah. where did you go see them? That was uh, Edinburgh Castle. Very good. Yeah, and Tinchy Strider was supporting. <laughs> I was talking to you about Tinchy Strider. Were you? Yeah, we were talking about Tinchy Strider. I forgot all <laughs> about him existing. Nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, it was great. <laughs> um, any like musical unpopular opinions? Hmm. I can't really think of any off the top of my head now. Five people dead or alive you'd like to have in a studio session or a writing session with you? Ooh, okay. That's a good one. Yeah. I should think about that. Um, I'll say Bruno Mars again. You can even have your mates in there for the vibes. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. I think I'll have Bruno Mars and Kendrick. Can't go wrong. I don't know. I think I'll leave it at them too. It's a, it's a hard one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't want too many people either. It's a bit like <laughs> movies when someone asks you, like, what's your favourite movie? And you go, I've never seen a film before. What's yeah. What's going on? <laughs> um, let me see what else I can ask you. It's fun at all. Oh, what career would you choose for yourself if you couldn't pick anything musical? Ooh. Um, probably athletics. I used to do, yeah, sprint them when I was younger. I was quite quick. 
Yeah. So yeah, I, I did enjoy that as well. How long did you live in Kingston for? Just uh, like six months. And do you, um, do you go back often to? No, I've I've been back just visit. just once. Just once. Just once on holiday. Yeah. Does it like any of like the Jamaican like Kingston, does it ever influence like your songwriting and? The stuff that you mm, like to maybe on some level, yeah. yeah. Like hearing other Caribbean artists, but um for the most part now I think I'm such quite unique, British. <laughs> such a unique mix with the, the Irish and, and the yeah, like yeah, Jamaican, yeah. it's so cool. It's unusual. <laughs> you, you could imagine like a, an Irish drink with a Jamaican sort of flow <laughs> underneath it. That's that's our thing fast here. Said I'm about a sympathy and I'm about an empathy, but I want you all to sim for me. I care so much about how much you care about me I'm bad at sympathy And I'm bad at empathy And I want you all to sim for me Said I care so much about how much you care about me And I care If you get anything up in common like in the pipelines Any new releases, any big gigs, any headline gigs Yeah, I'm still like um, sorting it out completely But um, I've got a few songs sort of ready to release um, I think I'm going to be doing a gig on the 5th of October Amazing In Liverpool, uh, Hemingway's can we buy tickets for this? Not just yet. <laughs> I haven't quite hold figured on, it out guys, yet. But uh, that will be the date of the event. So, cool. yeah, I'll get that up as soon as I can. And have you got stuff already released that we can find online? Yeah, yeah. If you just search for King Fast, King Fast Music, all my socials. Um, but yeah, there's six or seven songs, I think, on Spotify, maybe more. Yeah. yeah. And when did you start releasing and writing and stuff? Uh, 2019, I think it was the first single I released. Um, so it's been how many years now? Like five years? Yeah, since lockdown, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, get it? Yeah. So you're doing well then for the five years to be still doing it. Yeah, not too bad. And doing okay. it full time as well. So well done you. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, thanks so much for coming in and playing with us today and to enchant this video as well. Oh, thanks very really much. Really Cheers. You. Nice one. Thank, Thank you. you so much, guys. Thanks. Easy. Cheers. Okay, that's great, wasn't okay. it?